Knowing what you want is the first step towards achieving any goal. Today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to pick a goal and why it is so important to have a clear defined goal to focus on. Hey there, action takers, I am Antonio. Here I help you set goals, stay focused, and get results for a better life and a better you. This is the first part of a video series where I go through the most important parts of setting a goal that actually allows you to stick to it so you can achieve it. So back when I was in high school, I was overweight, not confident and shy. I was making very little money working two jobs. I was not satisfied with where I was. I had this feeling inside of me that made me want to do something greater, like I could improve my physical shape or maybe fix my mental issues like my confidence and a lot more. So I set out to start doing just that. I didn't really have a plan. I didn't know where I was really going. Instead, I kind of knew what I wanted. So I just started taking action and making a little bit of progress towards it over time. It's not until I was 18 that I started reading Think and Grow Rich. And that book harped on this point that made me realize something that I was missing. Your goal must be definite. It has to be clearly defined. It must have an end state that's clear. Now, how do you get to a clearly defined goal? There's three steps and we're gonna go through an exercise. This way you can have a clear defined goal by the end of this video. First thing is you need to know what area you want to achieve a goal in. Now I'm talking general area and this can be done in two different ways. One is that you pick something that you can't stop thinking about, something that you've always daydreamed about, something that you've always been fascinated with. For me, it has been owning my own business. For years, I felt this way. Something I think about all day long. I wanted this more than anything, so I had to do the work to get there. The second area that this came up in is a problem that you are facing. For example, when I was overweight, I had a goal of losing weight and that came from the problem that I was facing of being overweight, feeling not confident about myself and not happy and healthy. The weight was a problem that was holding me back, so I had to overcome it by setting a goal to fix it. So for the sake of your understanding, I'm gonna pick an arbitrary goal and show you how to make it clear. Let's just pretend that since childhood, I've always wanted to write. I've daydreamed about writing in class, at home, everywhere I went. Now, once you've selected a general area in which you want a goal from the two places I talked about, overcoming a problem or something that you can't stop thinking about, the next step is to narrow it down. And how do we do that? Is you ask yourself questions that make the goal more specific. Continuing with the writing example, now there's many types of writers. It probably makes sense to start to make this more and more specific. So the question I would ask myself is, what kinds of things do I wanna write? Do I wanna write books? Do I wanna write magazines, essays, research papers, blog posts? What is it? Let's say I wanted to become a writer of books because I've been reading books since I was a child. Now I would ask myself, okay, what kind of books do I wanna write? Maybe here I would start asking myself, do I wanna write nonfiction or fiction? I realize I don't really like nonfiction, so let me talk about fiction books. And then what type of fiction books? Sci-fi books with a little bit of humor in them. Those are the ones that I like the best and ones that I probably think I have the best ability to talk about. Now we are getting more specific. Now the third step is to add numbers behind that goal. The best part about numbers is that you either hit them or you don't. There's nothing left up to subjectivity or consideration. A number is or it isn't. So taking your goal and making it quantifiable with numbers to measure against is a crucial last step here. What about the book can we make more specific with numbers behind? It. Here's one. How long will the book be? Let's say maybe I want it to be about 400 pages in length. Minimum. At least 400. Could be more, could be less. How much do I want the book to sell for? Mm, $17. Let's just say that's an arbitrary number I picked. Now these are great starting points to make my goal a little bit more specific. Now we end up with a goal that says, I want to write a science fiction book with hints of humor in it that is a minimum of 400 pages long and can sell for $17. So in order to figure out what your end goal needs to be, it needs to go through a series of questions that make it more well-defined and more specific. 
Keep asking yourself questions over and over and over again until you have a clear goal that cannot be questioned by a friend and has numbers backed behind it. Now, why do we want our goal to be specific? There are a few reasons why. First one is that you need to have a clear focus. Have you ever been in a situation where you started one goal one day and then the next day you saw something else you wanted to do so you stopped that first thing and you did that second thing? Chances are your first goal was not specific and your second one probably wasn't specific either. If your goal was specific, you would know exactly what you want and why you want it. Not only that, you would be so specific that you wouldn't be confused about anything. Instead, you would have a clear idea of where you're going and what actions you need to take. When you add that clarity, you remove any thinking your mind has to do in order to keep you focused. Anything outside of that clear defined goal is simply something you should just not be doing unless you have extra time and extra mental capacity to do those goals and they don't interfere with the first one. Now this leads into the second reason why. The clearer the goal, the clearer the action steps will be that will help you get there. If your goal was to make a lot of money, then you will struggle because a lot of money is arbitrary. That might mean that you decide to start Uber driving to make 10 to $15 an hour in the area that you live in, but 10 to $15 an hour can only be a lot of money maybe for a 10 year old and not for someone who's 25 or 45. They need more money than that. A lot of money's different. Now, if your goal was to make $10,000 in a month, then it becomes more specific. Okay, if I sell 10 products at $1,000, then I can make $10,000 a month. You have a clear action to take from that. That improves your focus and allows you to be more consistent. And the third reason why is that you can actually measure to see if you get there. Like I mentioned before, if you have numbers behind a specific goal, you will know if you got there or not because the numbers do not lie. You are either there or or you aren't. So it removes any confusion you can have towards if you hit your goal or not, or if you're making progress or not. It's that simple. It takes all the subjectivity out and makes the whole goal objective. A huge reason why people give up on their goals is they do not know where they are going. The point of this exercise was to help you answer that question and be as specific as possible. We want you to stay consistent by taking action towards your goals and never giving up. Luckily for you, I built a form on my website that will help you create a goal that you can actually stick to and in the end, achieve it. The link is in the description down low. Here we help you set goals, stay focused and get results. If you're about that, click on the next video where I tell you exactly how to figure out the action steps that you need to take to get towards your goals.